Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to do an unboxing of all of my January boxes. So I have Ipsy, Boxy Charm, and Sephora Play. And I'm also going to do a quick review first on all my boxes from December. So some of them, I only have a few items left because I've either put them in giveaways or put them in my sample project pan because they were just sample sizes that I didn't want to try out because I have tons of samples I have open right now to try to use up. So yeah, I just want to go through them really quickly and then show you what I got. And then next month I will do a review on this month's boxes that I opened for you today, which I've already opened just being honest. And also my unboxing of all of my February boxes. Also, if you see a kitty cat tail, he's in here in the filming room with me. So there's that. So I'm gonna start with the BoxyCharm first. This was the Glitz and Glam box from last month of January, or no, of December. Sorry, he's so distracting and sweet. Um, so first I got the Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. That was like the color corrector palette. I put that in a giveaway. I got the Real Her Blush Kit, which I decided to put in the giveaway as well, or in a different giveaway. I have the Crown Brush, which, that white crown brush, which I cannot figure out where it is. Like, I used it and I think I put it at my in my work bag, but then I couldn't find it. So I'm not exactly sure where that ended up being. I don't know where it is. Anyway, so I have that one as well, which I am keeping. And then I also got this lip gloss or what is it? The My Lips Are Sealed Liquid Lipstick in the shade 105 Weeping Willow from pretty vulgar and I used it twice it's not my favorite formula it's not my least favorite I don't know it's a different brand though so I'm keeping it for now and then I also got the Tarte Tardiest um, Lash Paint Mascara which I've used samples of before and I really like this but I have too many mascaras open right now to open this up as well and use it because I don't need that many mascaras open so I did not open either of these but those are the three products that I'm keeping from my BoxyCharm from January, no, nope, December, from December. And then the next items I have are from my Ipsy box. I got two bamboo charcoal face masks, which I put in my sample project pan. I haven't used those yet. I got the SLA, SL Miss Glam brush. I love this one. I use it for my highlighter. I used it today. I use it all the time. It's my favorite highlighter brush now. I also got this lipstick from Smashbox. It is the Be Legendary lipstick in the shade Legendary. It's like their... <laughs> God. It's like their red, red shade. And I did use this and I have it um, on camera one day. I love this color. It's such a good red on me. I love it. And then I have something from NYX and it is the eyeliner in Purple Blaze. And I haven't opened it yet. I haven't decided if I wanna keep it or not. I don't really typically wear purple, but I've been trying to wear purple and colors that I don't wear very often more. So I haven't quite decided on this one if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm going to get rid of it and put it in a giveaway. I don't know, if you guys have any comments on this eyeliner down below, leave them for me and let me know if you guys have this color or if you like this style of eyeliner. I would typically wear this on my lower lash line. Let me know if it irritates your lower lash line because a lot of them do for me. So just let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that, if I should keep it or put it in a giveaway because honestly, I could go either way with that one. <laughs> Sorry, kitty cat is very needy today. We have a dog over, like an extra dog that we don't normally have. We're a dog sitting right now for my mother. And he's feeling very left out, apparently. So next I'm gonna show you guys my Sephora Play Box. This is the pamphlet that it comes with. I don't typically use those things, but this is from December. It was the Glam Straight Box. And I actually did not get a Sephora product in this box. I got the Triple Sec 3-in-1 Dry Bar. I've used this previously and I didn't need it at all during this month, so I didn't use this. But I'm definitely going to keep it. I got the Smashbox Cover Shot Golden Hour Duo in the shades Turned On and Psyched. And I did use this twice. I didn't love the look that I came up with, but I feel like it could be a good addition to my collection and just something to use up, just to have something to use up. 
So, and I like that for traveling too, if I want those kind of colors for travel. Then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Vintage. I did wear this a couple times. I loved it. Such a beautiful shade. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Then I got the Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer. <laughs> it's actually called the Eye Basics and it is in the shade Wheat. And I didn't use this because I'm trying to finish up an eyeshadow primer right now, but I feel like this is gonna be a perfect shade for me. And then I got the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream. And it's an all-over self-adjusting illuminator and targeted highlighter. I also did not use this yet. I am pretty sure I'm going to use this in the summertime because this is just going to be too much for me in the wintertime, I'm thinking. Because I, I like to be glowy, but not super glowy in the summertime is when I really like to glow. So I'm gonna use that in the summertime. And then I got the perfume in the scent Tom Ford Black Orchid. And I've gotten this before in the past and I really do like it. So yeah, those were all the products that I got in my December boxes. And now I'm gonna show you guys what I got in January. So for January, I'm gonna start with the Ipsy box, or bag, I guess. Um, so it says game face and it says I will conquer. I don't know. I will conquer anything I can conquer. Yeah, what now? Anyways, <laughs> the first product I got was from Trust Fun Beauty and it is the Lipgasm Exfoliating Lip Scrub. Um, I haven't seen anything on this, but I love lip scrubs. I use them after every single shower and this looks like a pretty good sample size. So I'm excited to use that one. Let's see what else I got. I got the Lue, is that how you pronounce this? Lue by Jean, Jean Seo, Balance Hydrating and Calming Serum. I've been really into serums this winter because my face has been so dry. So I'm excited to try that one out. And then I got the little sample of the Mary Luminizer. I'm not sure if I wanna keep this one or not because this is a perfect sample size to travel with. And like I said, I'm going to Daytona here next month and I think this might be a good highlighter to bring with me so I don't ruin any of my bigger highlighters in transit. And then I have this Serpentine Botanicals Raisin and Cream Long Lasting Creamy Lip Stain. This isn't typically a color that I wear. I don't really wear the berry tones very often. I'm just not really into them. And then my very last product in here is from Farah and it is the tweezers it looks like a double ended tweezer one tweezer side is really thin and the other side is a bit thicker so i mean i don't really need any more tweezers to be totally honest but i guess it's not a bad product to get because tweezers can be really expensive like the ones i have now were like eight bucks i swear so that's actually a really good product to get in here if it's good so i will use these out for the month and then give you guys an update at the end of next month so next I want to go into BoxyCharm and I used this product for my get ready with me on Sunday. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. I will leave it linked up above here. But I got the Pure Bronze and Brighten kit here and it comes with a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I used the blush a little bit and it is very very bright <laughs> like a super bright orange coral blush and then the highlighter these are like a very thick creamy type of products there is the highlighter over here i don't know maybe hi kitty and then the bronzer is a very shimmery bronzer i would never use that as a bronzer ever like there's no way I would ever use that as a bronzer, but I would definitely use that in eyeshadow. I would use all three of those as eyeshadows. So I'm obviously going to keep this because I did already use it and swatch it. Then I got a kind of a smashed product in here. It is the Brow Powder Universal Brow Pencil in the shade Universal Taupe. And it is from It Cosmetics. I haven't used any It Cosmetics brow pencils, but let's give it a quick... Oh, it's really dry and hard. Ah, nope, I don't think I can use that. I'm gonna try it. I need to try things and not just give up on it before I even try it. So I'm gonna try that out and see how I like it. Then I got the Pores No More Luminizer Primer and this is from Dr. Brandt. It's just a primer. I saw the teaser for this actually, so 
I don't know. I'm excited to try this one out. I have a couple primers in my project pans right now, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this all the way, but I'm definitely going to try it out. Then I have the Glam Metals by Crown Brushes, and this is an eyeshadow palette. It's a nine pan eyeshadow palette. Ooh, sorry, Katie. He's still below me. Um, so this is what it looks like here. It's got a cute little guitar mirror there, but these are the shades here. I'm actually kind of loving these shades. These are all like metallic or satin finishes besides this black one up here. It's black metal. That one's the only one that's not. That one's a matte finish. I actually think this would be a good addition palette to any of your like all matte palettes. Like if you have the Just Peachy Mattes from Too Faced, I think this would be a really good addition to that kind of palette. And it has some cool tones and some warm tones in it. So I'm really excited to try that one out. And the very last item that I got in here is by Grande Lips and it's the Hydrating Lip, Prum Lip Plumper Lip Plumper in Sunset Orange. Is it actually orange? Let's see. Oh, it has, it looks like, it's like orange. Um, <laughs> I don't know that I'll be using this. How do you do it? Oh, it's like a clicky on the bottom. So you click it up. Okay, so it's like a very sheer orange. It's like a pink orange. I don't know, it's interesting. I don't know, I don't mind lip plumpers. I don't mind the burning sensation. I hated it at first. Oh wow, I can definitely feel it on my hand. Oh, it's a burning sensation one. Oh yeah, yeah, I can feel it on my hand. That's ridiculous. Anyways, maybe it will actually work and plump my lips when I want them to be plumped. But anyways, to give you guys some prices, the Dr. Brandt is $38, the IT Cosmetics Brow Power is $24, the Crown Brushes Glam Metals Palette is $25, the Pure Cosmetics Bronze and uh, Bronze and Brighton is $34, and the Grande Cosmetics Hydrating Lip Plumper is $27, so I would say that that's an awesome box. We've been getting great boxes lately. I actually, when I first opened this and I kind of just like looked through it, I wasn't really excited about it, but now I'm actually more excited than I was when I first opened it, which is weird. I don't know, I didn't really give this palette a good look either. I just kind of was like, oh, well, I already saw everybody else unbox it, unbox it so, you know, whatever, but the palette is like beautiful so I'm gonna have to use this and see what I think but anyways that's all I got in my boxy charm now let's move on to Sephora play so Sephora play this month is 2018 happy you year I don't know I've been trying to focus on myself more often so I don't mind that so this is weird just when looking at what I got here I did not get any perfume samples and I didn't get any Sephora products I don't know if they're stepping up their game or what, but I don't know. I still got five samples and then I got a little mini like trying sample. So the first thing I got was the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Cleansing Cream to Foam Cleanser. And I know this was like a spoiler that everybody got, so I got that. I got a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's like the tiniest little sample here, but I almost bought this during the Sephora VIB sale because Andrea Matigliano loves this and I really wanna try it, but I don't need any more primers right now. So this is perfect. I'll try this out and see if I like it. Okay, I got a Lancome Super Enhancing Mascara Base and I'm thinking it's gonna be white. Let's see. Yep, it is a white mascara. Here it is here, and I've been loving my Lancome Excessive Black um, Noir, whatever it is, mascara, so I'm excited to try that with it. Maybe I'll layer them together. And then I got something from Ula Hendrickson. It is the Hedgy Hydroclay Detox Mask. I got a whole sample kit from him for the um, Sephora VIB sale, and I'm really excited to have another one. I don't have this already, so I'm excited to try that. And then I got the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream, which I'm almost done with my Origins Ginseng Eye Cream, and I'm going to be looking for another one, so I'm super excited to try this one. I haven't tried it yet, 
super excited. And then the very last little sample, instead of getting a perfume sample, I got the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, and I am more than happy to get this little sample because this is a fantastic deep conditioning mask. Like, I have four or five samples I've been saving up because I want to use it for some time in a row to get my hair super, super soft when I'm feeling like it's really dry and not very, you know, hydrated. So I've been kind of saving them up and now I feel like I have enough that I'm going to use them like all at the same time. I'm really excited. So anyways, that was all the products that I got from December and a little review on each of them. And then also products that I got for January and I will show you guys what I liked, what I didn't like here coming in February and also what I got in February's boxes. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and make sure to leave comments below on what you guys got in your boxes if we got anything different or if I got something that you would really like or if you got something that you think I would really like. I love seeing those and I love hearing about what you guys got and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are make sure to check out my giveaway video I will link that up above here and I will see you guys in the next one bye oh cutie I love you I love you beautiful kitty I had that in my eye the whole time mantis I just have a fuzzy in my eye.